Hi friends, how are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. She was actually taking a nap and I had to wake her up to come. So I think she's still in a bit of a daze, you can kind of tell. Let me check and make sure that we're live here um, on Facebook and YouTube. Let's just check. Okay, there we are. We're perfect. We're going. We're ready. I love it. It's so good to see everyone today. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I have a very fun card for today. Um, I'm calling this class Techniques, Techniques, Techniques because I'm going to show you a fun technique that you can use to create any card that you like. Um, it doesn't matter what type of card, it's a wonderful technique and I'm anxious to show it to you in a little bit. So, um, it is late August, I can't believe it. One day from, one week from today will be August 31st, the last day of August 2022. Wow, it's just flown by. And uh, the fall is ready to get started. Um, in September, we're gonna start making lots of fall cards and we're just gonna have a great time. So I'm thankful that you're here. Um, Diane, good to see you. Thanks for saying hi. Um, so it's warm, but not hot here. And that's wonderful. I hope that some of you in other parts of the country are, are cooling down a little bit. I think it's still pretty warm and humid most places, and it's even humid here in San Diego which County, which it normally isn't, but um, it's just been humid out here. Ellie has been such a good girl. Um, I wanted to tell you that she she's nine years old, and she has started doing some things that we tried to train her do, to do when she was a puppy. I guess she's just more mature, and we're so proud of her. So I just wanted to let you know, I wanted to brag on her a little bit. She's been going out her little, we call it the DD for the D-O-G-G-I-E, D-O-O-R. And we never could get her to do it before or very rarely. And now she's been such a good girl and just doing that on her own. Roz, good to see you. Thank you. Polly, good to see you. Um, so we're just real proud of our girl. Um, I wanted to remind you, stay till the end. Um, I'm awarding a prize today and I have a great prize to award for next week that you can put the word prize. So if you want to start putting the word prize in your comments, both on Facebook and YouTube, I recommend that you do it because I think you're going to like the, the prize that I'm going to award next week. Okay, so I have so many announcements. I just want to get right to them. Are you ready to go back to your little bed and take your nap? Okay, she's gonna go finish taking her nap. And I'm gonna talk to you about, I have so many announcements, there's so much going on um, with my little pretty paper cards and with Stampin' Up! right now, just so many things, great things to take advantage of and I want you to know all of them. I've got them written down because there are so many I had to write them down. First of all, my mystery envelopes. I have um, given away all but two. I started out, I think, with seven or eight, and they are for anybody who places a $50 or more order in my online shop, and the link for that is above on Facebook and below on YouTube. And if you use this host code, um, let me see if I can get it all on the screen for you. This is the one to get the mystery envelope. Use this host code. And I have it also in the notes up there. And when you place that order, I'll see your order come through and I will send you the mystery envelope right away. It's filled with some goodies, including three of my own handmade cards. So you'll wanna get a mystery envelope. And I'm only offering them through August. And because I only have two left, I'm sure they'll be gone anyway. So if you're interested, snap those up right away. Okay, next thing. I have a brand new Faith Creations class. Some of you know that, or I think maybe most of you know that I do a Faith Creations class. I've been doing it every couple months, but now I'm gonna start doing it every month. 
um, a class to go um, that expresses your faith and it uses Bible verses. I also do other classes to go and I'll be doing those every month. I'm going to start a new pattern of one class to go that's um, using a stamp set or a bundle in the, you know, a Stampin' Up um, bundle. Um, and then one Faith Creations class every month. So you can take advantage of either or both of those. And this month, the Faith Creations class is on the faithfulness of God. You're going to be making six cards, and you get the kits and everything needed to make six cards um, with Bible verses on the faithfulness of God. And I print those verses out. They're not stamps. I print them out on my computer on high-quality resume paper. And then I send you the kits. So really, it's mostly you just put it together. And you're going to get three designs, six cards total, plus you're going to get one package of tea, a full package of T Boutique Designer Series paper and a spool of ribbon and some bling. So it's very worth it. It's um, $45. And if you're interested, email me. Shoot me an email right away, Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com, because it closes. I have to close the pre order. It's a pre-order only per Stampin' Up! rules, and I have to close that. I'm, I'm going to close it uh, tomorrow night, which will be August 25th at um, about 6 p.m. Pacific time because I need time to order it and get everything to come back so that I can get it back to you. And I'm going to give you a very quick sneak peek of the cards. I usually don't do this. Colleen, good to see you. So here's a quick sneak peek of the cards. I'm just going to show them for a second because I don't want you to... Get too excited but one of the cards is a fancy fold a fun fold I don't know whether to say fancy fold or fun fold I think this is more fun but okay here's one card their verses on the faithfulness of God God that's the fun fold and here's the third one and so you make two of each design two of each card you get everything you need plus all kinds of product um, email me Peggy at prettypapercards.com Okay, so we've done that. Um, YouTube candy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am super, super excited. You know I've had this amazing mini stamp and cut and emboss machine to give away. I'm calling it YouTube candy because um, I'm going to give it away on a YouTube um, live, not Facebook. When I get to 2,100 YouTube, YouTube subscribers, and I'm keeping track. Okay, um, last week I needed 57 more subscribers. Today I only need 46 more subscribers and I'm gonna have 2,100. I'm so excited. And even, even YouTube congratulated me when I went over 2,000. They thought it was a big deal, I guess. So they congratulated me. But um, when I get to 2,100, I'll tell all of you and what we'll do is we will go on over to YouTube at a preset time. I'll have a live YouTube and I'll use the wheel of names. We will give this little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine away to one of you, whoever comes on and says they want it. And um, so subscribe, go on over to my YouTube channel. It's Pretty Paper Cards. Um, subscribe to my channel and get your relatives, your friends, your family, get them all to subscribe so we can get to 2100. I think it's gonna happen, I'm thinking within the next two weeks. I'd be surprised if it'd be a week, but, and I hope it's not more than two weeks because I'm really excited to give that machine away. It's been sitting here and I've been wanting to give it away to one of you guys. Um, Polly, thank you so much. Okay, so um, the last announcement is that it's the last week of celebration. Celebration ends on August 31st. And celebration is the time we do it twice a year and it's the time, um, for st in Stampin' Up! where they give a free gift from this catalog every time you purchase $50 or $100 in the online store, hopefully mine. And there are lots of beautiful gifts in here. We're gonna use one from this catalog today uh, for our project, but they've also added a whole um, 10 more new gifts and I've been posting those on my blog. You can also see them over there um, on the online shop. And one little caution, these are all items that are currently in our annual and our mini catalog. 
if you want them as a free gift, you have to use the, the special item number for the free gift. And I've shown some of these. My favorites are the Dots and Spots dies, the Aspen Tree dies, and the King, Gingham embossing folder. So you'll want to get those, but be sure you use the item number from the flyer, and they start with 1-6. So make sure if you're getting it, if you want to get it free, you have to use that 1-6 item number. If you have any problems, email me. And I try, I look at my email all the time. So I try to respond pretty quickly. And the one other thing with Celebration is that we have a special uh, planner that goes out free to anyone who purchases the starter kit for, for uh, Stampin' Up. It's $99, you get $125 worth of product of your choice, and it all ships free. And you get this planner, an additional stamp set, lots of fun stuff, and you would be on my team, my sweet stampers team. And I would love to have you on my team. If you have a wish list of $99 or more, this is definitely the time to get the starter kit. And from then on, you get 20% off everything you order. I have lots of hobby demonstrators. Those are demonstrators that aren't pursuing the business. They just are doing it for a hobby. And they love getting a great deal, which is why I joined too, to get a great deal. It's kind of a no-brainer. So I have a link in there um, above for Facebook, below for YouTube. Um, if you'd like to join Stampin' Up! And if you have any questions, email me. I would love to talk to you. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Um, don't forget to write prize if you're interested in a prize. I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to show you a couple of cards and then we'll get to our project. So let's uh, go ahead and do this and we'll see if it works. Okay, this is a card that I posted. Denise, good to see you from Ohio. I heard the kids, is it Ohio where the kids aren't going to school? I saw that. Cindy, good to see you. Dion, good to see you. Okay, so here are some cards I just wanted to show you for fun. Um, this is one I created. We're not going to make this today, but I posted it on, on here a little while ago on my Facebook page. This is made from the Rings of Love Designer Series paper. And I just took one of these beautiful flowers and cut every layer and lifted it up on dimensionals. And I want to kind of show, can you see all the dimensional layers in there? It really turned out nice. I really like it. So you can make that. That's another free gift for celebration. The Rings of Love Designer Series paper. Okay, now I was playing around to see what we would make today. So I made two cards before I came up with the one we're going to do. And they're, they're similar in color and everything. So this is one sample. I decided not to use it. And, well, I made happy birthday cards. I have just run out of birthday cards. I don't know about you guys, but you know how you just need birthday cards all the time. And I just ran out, so I needed some birthday cards, so I made that one. And then this is a little bit like, very similar to what we're gonna make today, um, using some beautiful colors. And then here is the card we're gonna make today. I, I needed to make a couple of welcome cards for new members on my team, new uh, people who have ordered the starter kit. And so I thought this would be really nice. And I wanna show you, uh, I always feel like I need to get it closer to you so you can really see it. We are gonna practice masking today. That is what that background is, is beautiful masking. And it just makes the card. You don't have to use designer series paper. You, you can make any kind of card you like. And I'm also going to be using the beautiful, wonderful world stamp set that you can get free along with a set of designer series paper for a $100 order in my online store. And this particular flower, they're all beautiful, but I think this is my favorite one. It's just gorgeous. And I've used... The welcome stamp is from the Garden Bird Houses, which I really like. Garden Bird Houses uh, stamp set, and we have a little bird that we're going to put on there. So, are you ready to get started? Okay, um, let's get going here. So, again, this is a technique that you can use anytime, anytime at all. Um, you can mask 
we're masking today. We're, what we're going to do is mask a, a punched um, image, a punched piece. And when you, get, when you start with what you're going to do, you want to figure out what is it you want to mask. Let me show it to you again. Um, do you see the leaf here? Okay, this is, I have masked the leaf from the bow punch. There are two. I call this kind of little berries, that side. This is leaves, and I love this punch. And so what I've done is I've used this leaf to create a mask. So what we have to do is punch out a couple of leaves um, so that we can use those as our mask. And let's just get, I'm going to get two leaves and we'll use those for our project. Okay. I got some other little pieces, parts also. We're going to just set that aside. Clean our desk. And um, I've done this before and I think you've liked it. And so I wanted to remind you of it and also because I love it. And every time is different depending on the shape or the item that you use to do the masking. And you can use Stampin' Up! sells in our um, annual catalog. We do have masks, which are thin plastic um, pieces with designs in them that you can use. But this is kind of your own kind of masking. So we've got our leaves, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to take um, the piece of paper that we are going to, that we want to mask on. Um, let's see, I have some notes here. Okay. Um, I am using a piece of basic white cardstock. It's three and three quarters by five. And the color I want to use to mask is Tahitian Tide, one of our new in colors. Very beautiful. And we are going to use a blending brush. And whenever you blend, it comes out a little bit lighter. So um, we know it's going to come a little lighter than the, than the full strength of Tahitian Tide. And I forgot to tell you. I punch the leaves out of Pool Party cardstock. I'm going to use these on the card, and I'll show you how that's going to work. So what I want to do is mask my leaves all around my uh, piece of basic white cardstock. So I'm just going to start and hold my leaf in the corner. I'm going to pat fairly hard. Normally with blending, you want to get a real soft image. Not the case with at least the kind of masking I'm doing. I just want to get the color on the paper and I'm making sure to do it over the, the item that I'm using for my mask, which is the leaf. So you see how that works? So I'm just going to keep going and we're going to keep, keep blend, using the blending brush and again, it doesn't matter, like I know that some of you might think, okay, you're not supposed to, you know, blop it down like that because then you have a blop on your, on your paper. But with the masking, you really don't care because it adds color. And that's what we're doing is we're adding color all around our leaves. So I'm just moving my, my leaf pattern my actual mask, we would call this the actual mask, and I'm just moving it around the paper and using my blend, blending brush to add color. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit in here. And even though the leaf might move a bit, it's really okay. It's, it's all okay. It's a very forgiving type of a technique. It's easy, it's forgiving, it's personal in that you can do whatever you like. And you see how it's just kind of moving from one into the other. It really, the main thing is when someone looks at it, they're just gonna think, oh, look at those leaves. And so you just put your leaf, your little leaf, right in wherever there's a blank spot. And do you see what's actually happening to the leaf, the leaves? The, the mask leaves. Look at how beautiful this Tahitian Tide ink is on the Pool Party cardstock on the leaf. That's why I decided to go ahead and use it in our project because 
the leaf itself whoops, becomes so beautiful. I forgot I need to change to get the other leaf because I want two leaves in our project. I should have changed sooner, but we'll, we'll try to mask this one. Get it nice and colored. There, we're getting a little darker now. And you can see how pretty it looks. Isn't that quick and easy? I think we might need just a few more right up there. And there is a beautiful background to your to any card. So you could use this for any type of card. It could well card, anything. Avanel, good to see you. Kay, Marsha, my friends, it's good to see all of you. And this is going to make a beautiful background for our card. Now I'm going to go back because I want to color these leaves just a little bit more with my Tahitian Tide. I think it just looks, so, whoops, that's okay. I think it just looks so pretty. I wanna get that one leaf a little darker down there. And this is what is really gonna add a lot to our, to our card. Okay, there we go. Wasn't that quick? Very quick blending. Now say you wanted a flower, or say you, let's think of some other things that you could want. Um, you know, we have our ladybug stamp set. Maybe you want a ladybug or just anything um, that you could punch or cut with a die. You might want to just do it, mask around a circle. That would work too. Um, you can just choose any shape that you like and cut it out, punch, cut by hand, fussy cut anyway, and make a mask from it. Okay, now this is our uh, card base and this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Let's see. I'm actually having trouble with my eyes. I'm going to go to the eye doctor in a couple weeks. I just went last year and my eyes, I needed to have my glasses changed and I'm just not seeing well. So I'm going to have to have that checked out. I think it, I don't, I don't even want to say what I think it could be. Just, you know, having a few birthdays. That's what it is. Okay. So now we're going to put our beautiful masked piece onto our card base. And I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. I have a brand new pack of Stampin' Dimensionals. I mean, how often does that happen? Pretty fun, huh? I love Stampin' Dimensionals. I think they're my favorite adhesive that Stampin' Up! has. Do you have a favorite adhesive that you use? I mean, I do love my multi-purpose glue. I have to say that. But... Stampin' Dimensionals hold really, really well. Really well. Okay, so let's put this little guy on. These are extremely sticky today. I guess with a new pack, you're going to get real sticky Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, the I might have told you the dimensions. This is three and three quarters by five. One reason I like this size, I use it a lot, is because it gives a nice margin on all sides. I really like this particular um, first piece that I usually put on a card base. Generally, it's three and three quarters by five. I just think it looks nice. Okay, now we've got our leaves. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cut a circle. I'm going to use a little circle. I've got my big stamp and cut and emboss machine today and we're only we only need to use it for one thing and I'm using the circle from the um, stylish shapes dies I'm really liking these a lot they're they were new with this annual catalog and they have stitching on both sides the inside and the outside there and the, we have squares in this die set which we didn't really have any squares before at least not for a while, so I'm really enjoying these. So here's our little circle. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the circle on the card and just arrange, make a little arrangement right on the circle. Now we're going to do some stamping. And I'm going to get out my uh, Flirty Flamingo ink for this. Uh, for the stamping. That's the color ink that's going with the Tahitian Tide ink. I think it looks pretty together. And we're going to use this favorite. Oh, we're going to use, yes, sorry, I had to remember what I was doing. We're going to use this beautiful flower from the Wonderful World stamp set. And you know, 
you might remember that this is um, a distinctive stamp. Now I did get a little ink over there, but that's okay because we're going to cut it out. This is a distinctive stamp, this wonderful world stamp set. And that's why, I mean, is that not a gorgeous, gorgeous flower? Look at all the light and dark that they have in it. I always love my distinctive stamps. I really do. I think I get almost every one. And then here is the welcome sentiment from the birdhouse set. There's our welcome sentiment. I'm gonna cut around that. And then we wanna have one little bird. Just one little bird we're gonna add. I'm just gonna need a little bit more ink and I'm gonna put him right up here like that. We're gonna cut all of these things out. Now, just to save a bit of time, I went ahead and cut out the flower. Um, so that all I need to cut out now is the bird and the welcome. And then we'll have everything ready almost and we can uh, begin to make our arrangement on our, on our uh, die cut circle. This is one thing you can do to create a card if you don't have any ideas and you want a kind of a design. A background and a circle is always a good way to start. And then all you have to do is make a little arrangement of things on top of your circle. You know, pick out a stamp set you like and there you go. I do, I do that quite often. And then you can use a large or a small circle. I played with a larger circle earlier, earlier today and I thought it was too big. So I wanted this smaller circle. So here we go. We're just gonna cut around that welcome. I'm really excited for my new team members to get this card. Um, I'm excited to have them and I'm excited for them to get this card. I love getting new team members. Um, we have a lot of fun. We have Zoom meetings and we share stuff. I just love it. Okay. So now we have most of the pieces of that were most of our arrangement. And the one thing we need now is a bow. I'm going to create a double bow. My friend Robin, um, she's one of my downline and she's a good friend. And the other day on her Facebook live, she made a double bow. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna remember that. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I forgot to tell you this beautiful ribbon. Pool party, sheer ribbon. And it is sheer, look at how pretty that is. Oh, Polly, you like the Seal Plus, but now it's liquid. Sticky fingers, dimensionals, Cindy, yes, yes, I love dimensionals. Um, but the Seal Plus, I, I use that for certain things. I don't use it all the time, I use it for certain things. It's a good, strong hold. Okay, so here is a double, we've cut two strips of this beautiful Pool Party Sheer Ribbon and I'm gonna tie a double bow. It, it's just a regular bow, but you have two, um, two pieces of ribbon, and it allows you to fluff it out a little bit at the end. And I really like, with sheer, it's really nice to be able to fluff it out because just one, one piece um, doesn't always do the trick. It depends on the look you're going for. Let me see if I can, okay, it's being a little bit slippery today. So I didn't really hear about the weather for all of you guys. Let me know your weather. What is it like all around? Usually we do that at the beginning and I just kind of flew past that. I'd love to hear about the different parts of the country where you are. Um, I know some of you, well, we've got one in Ohio and some of you are in, um, I know, North Carolina. So let me know what it's like. Okay, here's our little ribbon, our little bow. Let's see if I can get that straightened out here. Pull it tight. Okay, and this is what we're adding to our arrangement here. And I'm gonna trim off the little tails here. Cindy, oh, you're in Canada, hot and humid, yeah. I, I'm i not sure what, you know, when, when does your fall start there, uh, Cindy? I'm not usually sure different parts of the country. I mean, our true fall doesn't start until really November 1st. We are hot until 
October 31st. Many times on Halloween, um, the kids are just hot. It's just downright hot. Okay, so I'm trimming my little tails with my bow. And now we can pull, pull out the loops. And it just makes a really nice little fluffy bow. One loop got kind of stuck in there, didn't it? The lower 80s in North Carolina, Polly. You love it. Okay, nice. K, 84. Yep, very nice. Very nice. See, we're in the 90s. And unusually, unusually humid. We usually don't have humidity. Okay, now we are ready to create our our little arrangement. Here's our circle. Let's put that on first with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I usually use three. I want to make sure to get the dimensionals on the back so the pretty stitching shows forward. I think these colors just really look nice together. Cindy, it's usually nice weather here until a few days before Halloween. Yep, exactly. That's the same here too. Only we're usually right after Halloween. It's so funny you can really predict it but nowadays who knows okay so now we're going to put our our leaves on here and actually I'm going to use some mini dimensionals for our leaves we want to just kind of build everything up let me know what you think about how would you feel if you were a new demonstrator and you received this card from me do you I hope it's not too frilly. Let me know what you think, because sometimes I send ones that say welcome and they're a little more, I don't know, uh, a little maybe more business-like kind of. Let me know what you think. I hope it's okay. Because I'll have two now, the one I made for a sample and this one. And so that's, I like to have, I like to be sure to have enough. Prize, please, Colleen. Marsha, very cool. Oh, cool technique, thank you. 85 in Michigan, oh, still pretty warm, yeah. But it sounds like it's the same all around the country. The 80s and some in the 90s. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one a little bit sideways. Okay, now we've got our leaves on. Now we're gonna, um, oh, you think it's just right, Marsha? Okay, thank you, thank you. I hope they like it, I think they will. All right, now we're gonna put just one dimensional is going to hold our beautiful flower on. Again, I just love this flower. Look how pretty that is. Just love it. And now we're going to put our bow on. And I'm going to put it right right down in here. And for this, I'm going to use some, some of our mini glue dots. I could do this. Let's see. Some people... I'll just get my bow a little... Turned around a little bit. I could just fuss with my ribbons and bows for a long time. I'm, I just love making those. Okay, so we can get our dimensional pick or our um, mini blue dot picked up by adhering the bow right on it, and it'll pick that right up. But I do like to use about three or four mini glue dots to make sure the bow doesn't fall off. I just hate that if something falls off. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, and Patricia. I, I hope my, my new ladies like it. We have the nicest team, we really do. I call them the sweet stampers. I told you that, I think. I really, I like to call them that. And they are sweet. They're all very, very sweet. Okay, now there's our bow. I'm gonna pull the loops up just a little bit. And now it's time to put on our welcome. And I'm going to put that on dimensional so that it covers the tails there. I could trim the tails off if I wanted to, but um, I don't. I don't think I need to because I'm. I can just use uh, the welcome to do that. And so I'm going to put my dimensionals close up because the the end of the sentiment is going to hang off the circle a little bit. So I'm just going to adhere it right on like that and with the two here it holds the welcome very securely okay now the last thing we have is our little our cute little bird and we'll put a mini dimensional on the bird I just thought since it's a little birdhouse situation stamp set 
that we're using. We might as well put a cute little bird. Did I get that off? These little things are so tiny. Okay, whoa. All right, and we'll just put him right like that. Now I'm gonna add a very few of these um, gems, and I wanted to show them to you because I don't know if you've noticed these. They're called the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. What I like about them is that they're very flat. They have adhesive. They're just like our other sparkly things, but they're flat. They're easy for nailing. I'm going to hold it up like this so that you can see. They really do not raise up very much at all. And I've been really enjoying using them because they're nice and flat. And this, these are pool party. <clears throat> I looked in the catalog and then I wrote the names down on the back so I wouldn't forget. Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, Pacific Point, and Pool Party. So when I wanted to use my, the colors I wanted to use in my project today, I went around and gathered the colors I wanted. And I just gather up everything that's, um, that I could find that was the colors I liked and put it together. Now, we still have two more things to do. We need to stamp the inside of our card and we need to stamp our envelope. And especially when we have a gorgeous stamp like this flower uh, from this wonderful world set. I, I just don't want to use any opportunity, lose any opportunity to use it because it's so pretty. And you know, a funny thing, I use this a lot, this stamp, with Stampin' Blends and I made the leaves green and there is actually nothing that transfers but my leaves have stayed dark ever since I did that. Okay, is it, look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Just want to make sure there's no extra ink on there. I just think it's so pretty. I have to stamp two. Okay, and we're going to put one over here on the inside of our card. And then it will be finished. Just like that. That flower is out of control, I think. And I like this card because it highlights it. I'm really happy with this card. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while I made it and giving me <clears throat> some of your ideas and opinions. I appreciate it. And again, just a reminder, here is the wonderful World Stamp Set. You get it free if you want it um, with a huge package, not huge, but a normal size package of designer series paper um, when you make a $100 or place a $100 order with Stampin' Up! And, through my online shop, hopefully. And here is the cute Garden Bird Houses stamp set we used. Here's the welcome. And actually, there are three little birds, so you, you've got them facing any direction you want. I chose the one facing that direction. Okay, warm, warm. Whew. Let's come back up. Okay, we will award our prize. You ready? Okay, so the prize from last time, and last week was, um, our, was my craft room tour. And many of you were here. I thank you so much for uh, taking a tour of my craft room with me. I had a lot of fun doing that, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And the prize for last week was a set of three of my own handmade cards. Um, and I will send those to the winner. And the winner was, I think she's on here today, Cindy Reed. Cindy, I don't have your address. And so if you see this, I will try to connect with you through Facebook. Um, but be sure to send me your address. Email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com so that I can get this out to you because I love to give away my cards. Okay, you ready to see the good prize for next week? I am giving away a pack of glimmer paper. Okay, this glimmer paper, it looks, it's kind of like very vanilla. But inside, there's also gold. And let me find the colors for you. Well, wait a minute. I have my own. Let me show you my own so you can really see what it looks like. Um, so I have, it has gold, beautiful gold. I've already, these are just pieces. And that very vanilla color. And then look at this. You get one sheet of each. This is Evening Evergreen. Look at that sparkle. Okay, so a package 
is um, one sheet of each. So this is the prize for next week. One 12 by 12 package of the glimmer paper. Now, the only thing is if I do, if you know, if you win and I mail it to you, I will cut it down to eight uh, to six by six because it I really can't mail. There aren't any mailers that fit just like this for just this thin thing that I know of. Um, so I usually go down six by six, but you'll get the full entire pack. Okay, and I really love this. It's going to be great. I'm going to be using it for, for a lot of my holiday, holiday cards. So I hope you guys have had a good time today. I've had a good time with you. And um, come back on Friday and we'll make another card. We'll do something else. And don't forget, only one more week left of celebration. I don't want you to miss out if there's something you wanted. Okay, thank you so 